Hello, this is Carol Lemke from BC Gurus, and this is part three of the module series. In this video, we will be focusing on the Photo Gallery module. The Photo Gallery module is a module that allows you to display a collection of images on your website. BC will automatically render thumbnails at the dimensions of your choice, and once clicked on, the full size image will appear within a pre built light box. We'll be jumping into BC and going through some of the stuff. So a basic intro to what we will be covering. First off is how to create a photo gallery, how to upload your files, and then create a photo gallery after that, and how to insert a photo gallery onto your website. So how to create a photo gallery. Photo galleries pull photos from a specified folder on the site. So before you can create a photo gallery, you will have to create a folder from which the gallery will pull images from. There are two ways to create this folder. The first way is through the file manager on BC. You can find the file manager under site manager, file manager. Navigate to where you want to insert the new folder to hold your gallery images and click new folder. Name the folder and hit save. You can also create a folder through an FTP client such as FileZilla. In FileZilla, all you need to do is navigate to where the folder should be right click and create the directory. Once the folder is created you can then upload images to that folder. You can do so via the file manager by opening the folder and uploading files. Hit select to navigate to that image. Click open and you can add more upload fields. When you're all done hit upload. If you have a lot of images to upload, it may be easier to use an FTP client, again like FileZilla. To do this, make sure you're connected to the site. Select all the images you want to upload and drag them into the folder. One thing to note is that once your gallery is set up, the images will be alphabetically ordered. So if you would like to control the order of your images, an easy way to do so is by placing a number in front of the original file name. After you create your folder and upload your image files, navigate to the Photo Gallery module by clicking Modules, Photo Galleries. Here you will see a list of existing photo galleries. To add a photo gallery, click Add Photo Gallery. Here you will write in the photo gallery name and select the Images folder. After you save the gallery, you can manage your gallery items. You can click on the image and manage the description. This description will appear when the gallery is opened up in lightbox mode. When you are ready to insert a photo gallery, there are two ways of doing so. One, within the photo gallery view, there will be an actions button with a drop down of options. Click add photo gallery to web page. When you select this, you will then get prompted to select what page to add it to. Click the insert drop down and insert this photo gallery. Hit save and publish. The second way to insert a photo gallery is to do so using the module manager. You can use the module manager to insert items onto a page, a template, into a web app item, into a module layout, into a content holder, and more. It just depends on how your site is set up. When using the module manager, you have the option of customizing the properties of the photo gallery. Choose the photo gallery, click customize, and then you can set the row length, the target frame, results per page, and the width and height of the thumbnail image. Click insert and update the page. If we preview our photo gallery, we can see the thumbnails have been made to the dimensions we specified. And if you click on an image, the light box will open and you can see the description below. 